National Artist is an honorary title issued by some states as a highest recognition of artists for their significant contributions to the cultural heritage of the nation. The national artists of the Philippines are based on a broad criteria as set forth by the Cultural Center of the Philippines and the National Commission on Culture and the Arts. Here are the list of our national artists and their contributions. Number 1. Pablo S. Antonio, National Artist for Architecture. In 1933, he designed the Ideal Theater in Avenida Rizal Avenue, which is one of his major works that made him prominent in architecture. The founder of Par Eastern University, Nicanor Reyes, deal with him to make several buildings in the campus. The FEU campus is considered as the largest ensemble of surviving art deco architecture in Manila. And in 2005, it received an honorable mention citation from the UNESCO for the Bodies 2005 Asia Pacific Heritage Awards for Culture Heritage Conservation. In 1976, he was named National Artist of the Philippines. He was only second architect to honor after his contemporary Juan Nakpil. Antonio influenced me because his design is based on simplicity and clean structural design. The lines are clean and smooth, and where there are curves, these are made integral to the structure. Number 2. Leandro B. Loxin, National Artist for Architecture Leandro B. Loxin was a Filipino architect, artist, and interior designer. Known for his use of concrete, floating, volume, and simplistic design in his various projects. An avid collector, he was fond of modern painting and Chinese ceramics. He was proud of a National Artist of the Philippines for Architecture in 1990 by the late President Corazon C. Aquino. In 1955 to 1994, he created 75 residences and 88 buildings including 11 churches and chapels, 23 public buildings and 48 commercial buildings, 6 major hotels and an airport terminal building. He influenced me because he reshaped the urban landscape with a distinctive architecture reflective of Philippine art culture. Number 3 Juan F. Nakpil, National Artist for Architecture Juan Felipe de Jesus Nakpil, known as Juan F. Nakpil, was a Filipino architect, teacher, and a community leader. In 1973, he was named one of the National Artists for Architecture. He was regarded as the Dean of Filipino Architects. Juan F. Nakpil influenced me because we can achieve more in life. Like him, we can be a teacher, architect, and civic leader, a pioneer and innovator in Philippine culture. Number 4. Idelponso P. Santos Jr. National Artist for Architecture Idelponso P. Santos Jr. was an architect by education, an artist in his passion, and a landscape architect by profession. These were the influences that bear an imprint on his works. His landscapes were linear, with abundant use of concrete, but these were softened by a mix of patterns, textures, and materials obtaining the malamig samat effect of which he so often spoke. The integration of local art pieces to his landscape was essential an expression of art culture, as he would say. The use of mass plantings in his subscapes was his trademark creating a visual feast of colors and texture. He influenced me because he distinguished himself by pioneering practice of landscape and architecture. Number 5. Francisco T. Manosa, National Artist for Architecture and Allied Arts Francisco Babi Manosa was a Filipino architect considered as one of the most influential Filipino architects of the 20th century for having pioneered the art of the Philippine neo-vernacular architecture. 
his contributions to the development of Philippine architecture led to his recognition as a national artist of the Philippines for architecture in 2018. Francisco T. Manosa influenced me because he devoted his life to create a very own Filipino identity in his architecture. Number 6. Lamberto V. Avellana, National Artist for Theater and Film Lamberto Vera Avellana was a prominent Filipino film and stage director. Despite considerable budgetary limitation that hampered the post-war Filipino film industry, Abellana's films such as Anak Dalita and Bajau attained international acclaim. In 1976, Abellana was named by President Ferdinand Marcos as the first national artist of the Philippines for film. While Abellana remains an important figure in Filipino cinema, his reputation as a film director has since been eclipsed by the next wave of Filipino film directors who emerged in the 1970s such as Lino Broca and Ismael Bernal. Lamberto influenced me because his works tackles about Filipino life that has been honored internationally. Number 7. Lino Broca National Artist for Film and Broadcast Arts Catalino Ortiz Broca was a Filipino film director. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential and significant Filipino filmmakers in the history of Philippine cinema. Lino Broca influenced me because he contributed to restore the democracy and he also espoused the term freedom of expression in our constitution. Number 8. Ismael Bernal, National Artist for Cinema Ismael Bernal was a Filipino filmmaker, stage and television director, actor, and screenwriter. Noted for his melodramas, particularly with feminist and moral issues, he directed many landmark Filipino films such as Donal sa Bibig in 1976, City After Dark in 1980, Relasyon in 1982, Himala in 1982, and Hinugod sa Langit in 1985. He was declared a National Artist of the Philippines in 2001. Ismael Bernal influenced me because his passion to his dream gave me an inspiration to conquer mine too. Number 9. Kidlat Tahimik, National Artist for Film Eric Oteza de Guia, better known as Kidlat Tahimik, a Tagalog translation of Lightning Silent, is a film director, writer, and actor whose films are commonly associated with the third cinema movement for his contributions to the development of Philippine independent cinema. He was recognized in 2018 as a National Artist of the Philippines for Film, a conferment which represents the Philippine state's highest recognition for artists. Kidlat Tahimik influenced me because his work has been honored internationally and locally. Number 10. Fernando Amorsolo, National Artist for Visual Arts Fernando Amorsolo was one of the most important artists in the history of painting in the Philippines. Amorsolo was a portraitist and a painter of rural Philippine landscape. He is popularly known for his craftsmanship and mastery in the use of light. Fernando Amorsolo influenced me because he is a talented person that gave everything to arts. These are the 10 National Artists of the Philippines. Thank you for listening and watching. Goodbye!